I thought I'd refilm this bit quickly because I've already done it, but um, it's a bit too much of a, a waffle. So I'll do it again. Uh, this episode of Pootis Customs is brought to you by Edward. Now, I know Hornby and Backman have made their models of Edward, but my fleet of Thomas engines is based off of, well, what I imagine Hornby would do, but better. So, Backman scratched out, apart from Toby, because, well, Hornby Toby's like a bloody, a council flat. As in, he's too tall, and every example of him has got a rotten chassis, so you can't really run him. Um, and Hornby Edward is, uh, I'll flash a picture up on screen, but God, he's awful, isn't he? I've seen good old Tom's Modeling Corner on uh, YouTube and Instagram get the D49 Edward and fit the cylinders back, which has improved it for just being a sort of doubt with Thomas looking Edward. But Edward to me is an oldish 440 that's kind of a little bit feeble, respectfully. <laughs> I feel like this represents the character a bit better than that big bloody weird monstrosity I'll call it because it's he it looks way too beefy you know this is a bit more humble to me it's not quite furnace railway k2 or anything pre-grouping but it's got that mix between the tv series feel of him I guess and also a real life sense of him whatever that means Shut up, Ryan, I'll kill you. And shut up, Buzz, I'll kill you. Hey guys, welcome to the, this next part of the Pootis Customs Edward episode. It's like 11 o'clock at night and I just realised I should probably film this at some point before I forget. Uh, this is how far we've got with Edward. Lamp irons out of bits of craft wire but with like the, po the pokey cut off bit on the end filed down so it's not so pokey. Oops, camera's a bit fucky. Uh, the wheels have been painted. These are all Romford wheels. This is why I bought this model. Uh, I thought I'd do a bit of a Hornby James and fill in... <laughs> I said fill in! <laughs> Only like Vance and ten, two and a half people will understand. Um, I filled in the extra cab portholes that weren't needed. So it's a bit like Hornby James where if you're not on the the trying 3F, it's got eight wi uh, four windows, two little ones and two bigger ones, and then they covered up half of them, so it looks more like, you get the idea. Uh, the next job is to cut off, well, the face from this uh, smoke box. Of course I'd choose a damn car, well, the plastic painted face that is moulded onto the smoke box, we doing. Uh, next job really is to actually get these bearings to fit nicer into these axle box holes so that I can fit these wheels in because I can't really put the bearings in first and then stick the wheels in because they're very wide. Uh, you kind of gotta like stick the wheels into the axle boxes and then use the bearings as like to lock the wheels in if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. But I changed out Edward's motor. It's an Airfix 5-pole motor of some sort. But it runs so much smoother and better than the other one. He just goes so nicely. And he, he honestly looks so much better when he's finished. Rather than me making fucking vlogs for this episode. Can't wait to finish him. He's going to look damn awesome. He's going to run awesome too. Yeah! Hey boys, look at this! We're getting to the final shape now. Uh, face has been cut off and done that. Uh, I need to paint the pupils once the uh, the white has dried. Uh, I think after that's done... Well, actually no, I need to sand down the filler in these axle boxes. Because I, uh, I put some brass bearings in. In backwards, because that was the best way they could fit in. With a bit of filing and uh, all that on the axles and the bearings. 
Uh, I filled in the holes where the bear, where the wheels should actually go in with filler so that I could paint them black and then I can get on with the bodywork. But even without a bit of oil on that tender and probably the rest of his axles, he still runs nice and smooth. I attribute that to the Airfix 5.4 motor. Let he can't get this battery back on the track properly. There we are. I'm damn happy. Well, he's coming along nicely, lads. Uh, I've cut off these front steps because I realized if Hornby was going to use the L1, they'd make major modifications. So really, the front steps have got to go. And I've just realized they'd probably sand down all these details on the roof too, like the, the roof vent and any rivets and whatever. I should have filled in that gap, that crack even. Oh well, too late, can't be bothered. I've already stripped the paint on that body. I'm not going to do it again. Um, Edward's coming along nicely. All I really need to do is lining. Well, actually, no, I'm going through, like, the major blocks of colours that I need to fill in. So, like, the grey footplate, the red sole bars and buffer beams, uh, black smoke box, cab roof, uh, frames on the tender, and, of course, the blue all over. So uh, really, I think next I've got to do a bit of yellow for like the trim around the cab, and then I can get on with lining, hand lining that is, and then I've got to paint the handrails black, um, buffers black, lamp pines and brake pipes black, uh, fit the coupling back on, paint the number two with a turd. It's funny because number two, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then they have a little uh, details. So yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to bury today while I'm filming this. So we're going to get this body because I need to repaint it in BR black. Put it in that tub there, and we'll put some detail on it. Six months ago, I was meant to make a video all about um, how to paint strip plastic bodies because I did the metal ones uh, for the take and plays. So I really need to make that video about like how to paint strip Trackmaster and. Tommy um, and double O gauge plastic bodies. My god, this Dettol's been used, but it looks like blood. What is this? Emesis Blue? Uh, pour the whole pot in. Oh, it's even got all the paint globules. Oh, yucky. Need to wash that out. Another part to the Edward saga. He's all lined out and all ready to go. All I need to do is the handrail. Uh, his whistle, I think I need to do a bit more yellow on the cab portholes. Uh, of course I'm going to fit his face. I've got to do his number as well. Oh, thank you, camera. Now uh, we can clearly see where the number needs to go. There we go. Uh, also, for that pug that everyone was probably curious about for like five minutes, five seconds even, uh, here he is. Uh, slightly... Well, partially, mostly glossed out so I can put the transfers on. I don't know why we're focusing on this thing now, but um, I, I shown it in the last clip. It's now been paint stripped and painted black, so it's going to have a, a random number that is sort of prototypical. A crest of some sort, then we've got to satin coat it after putting the, sa oh, no, put the safety valves and whistle back on. Uh, we also got a 47 on that same layout that has just come in because I need to, well, make it not look like stock standard garbage. So it's getting some paint on the wheels, uh, handrails picked out, high intensity, high density lamp, greasy buffers. Uh, make the sh chassis frames not look like plastic, black plastic even. And I think there's a crack on one of them, so I had to fix that because it was making the chassis, one of the bogies, sink a bit and run sort of on it on a tilt. So, uh, yeah, the lining is a little bit sloppy to be honest, but it's all hand done, so it's my model. If I'm happy with it, I'm happy with it. Yeah, don't tell me how sloppy it is, or I will get more insecure about it and then I would re repaint it and re-strip it. Yes. Yeah. 
You're probably going to hear a bunch of dogs barking at the minute because they are right on route, loud across the road. Uh, a bit more updates on Edward throughout this video already. Uh, I've made two mistakes of him, somehow. No, it's not the satin coat, even though I think it looks a bit crap on him. Uh, yeah, you can tell he's all done, but um, I've had problems while I test ran him last night and uh, I didn't leave enough wiggle room for the tender wheels to actually shift on tight radius. So I think this is a, a piece of Pico second radius track I've just grabbed from under the stairs. Um, and I've had to pick out all the bearings, give them some more filing, and give the tender a bit more wiggle room. I believe this works now. I lost the two middle bearings somehow. Uh, but they used to be nice. They just used to be like all hard up against the center of the tender pretty much. So both sides were even. There was barely any wiggle room. Also there was no, there was barely any weight in this. So this under load would constantly jump the crappy test track as you've seen from the last clip. Uh, but other than that, uh, yeah, Edward kept derailing because his front bogey had a very, very, very long screw that gave his front bogey a lot of float. So I thought I'd put some, I was going to put some washers under there, but I thought I'd find a smaller screw. Uh, that's a bit less float than what happened before. I think it's unthreading itself, so I'm going to have to tighten that up again. Ugh. I've got my candle going because, um, well, my mood's not very nice. And I need something relaxing. Uh, let's have a look at that pug also while I'm in this, while I'm recording. Yeah, it's all finished. There we are. Simple as. Uh, only 34 Cali pugs were built, so I've just numbered it 34 with a root allocation of two and a 0F classification. Uh, Lake Crest. It's a simple repaint because you know me for Cali pugs, I literally just like go all out and make them absolutely marvellous because I love the Calipugs or as they're scientifically called the Caledonian Railway 264 class or British Railway 611 but I thought yeah simple repaint black spray paint and then satin coat jobs are good and it's got rear lamps as well by the way yeah you get six months on I don't know if this is going in the Edward project video, but um, I was just running in Edward with a new XO4 hide bought the other day, probably like a few months ago actually, because it's been in storage for a while. Because uh, I had a five pole motor in there, it was too lumpy and it just made the body really hot. And I thought, yeah, I, it's not very safe, is it? Well, uh, I don't know. But um, I decided to be a bit naughty ramp it up to full speed without thinking uh uh um that's one of the plates on the armature i fucking broke an xo4 motor from being daft a really good one to be honest it was a really good runner and i fucking broken it because i was being stupid i actually feel really depressed i'd rather one of these stupid bits of carbon broke off not the fucking commutator plate i've broken it i actually feel really upset now for doing that <laughs> I, I i murdered it i can't fix this this is just, just, just gonna go in the spare xo4 parts bag i've killed it what have i done
thanks for watching this episode of Putis Customs, people. Um, I hope you all have a good new year once this comes out. This episode shouldn't have took me this long to actually get edited and released. But here we are now. I just want to give a sneak preview of my upcoming projects for 2024. Um, one of them being D261. Actually, no, wait, I've already done it. I mean, look, let me just pretend to snap my fingers. Oops. See? There we are. Good old D261. Actually, while I'm on the topic of D261, I narrated a fan story from my best friend Vance, all about his um, take on the Railway Series story, Old Stuck Up. I'll leave a link in the description for it, for you to watch, because I really... I enjoyed narrating it, even if I am a bit crap at voice acting. But I tried my best, and um, it was actually a birthday present for him a few, uh, a month ago or so. But um, I hope you all enjoy it. So we'll move him to the side a bit. And hang on, who the hell are you? Wait a minute, you're not Thomas. You're the grand designer. Get that blue tech off your chin. Uh, definitely Henry's next. I've got all the bits I need. I've had this black five for about months now. Uh, my plan is I'm going to cast a face from a Diagostini Henry. Take the smoke box door first, off first, and then paint the sculpt. And then stick the face on and then I could do the rest. And I'll finally have the full main cast. Because I'm not buying a Hornby Henry. No matter... Well, actually, no, if it was cheap enough, I would buy it, but I'm not spending 190 quid for a Hornby Henry. That's not even brand new. It's used. Cough, cough, that specific seller on eBay at the minute selling Hornby Thomas characters for very expensive Tory prices. Especially that one Hornby Henry with the wrong coloured cylinder block. Hmm... Anyways, other projects. I've got Lady I want to make. I was going to plop the model here, but I haven't got the 101 that I need. Uh, to go along with Lady, I've got Diesel 10. Daisy. Ryan. Stepney. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm not going to turn this beauty into Stepney. Fuck Stepney. Martello's so much better. This is actually a Christmas present I got this year, and I'm really pleased I got this. Considering Martello literally lives about 50 minutes away from me, and she's my most favourite... Well, she's the first local I ever got a cab ride in. She's my local terrier, uh, loco, and I've worked on her so much this year, starting volunteering. I've cleaned her, I've been her crossing gatekeeper... On the standard gauge, I've well, I've already said I've ridden in the cab. I've ridden in the, in the guards van. I've well, I haven't driven yet because I I don't think I'm old enough yet to start learning to drive the locos. But there we are. I love Martello, and I think you already know that. So uh, yeah, we've got a lot of projects here to be done in 2024. <laughs> Why are you still here? Haven't you got, like, a mass assassination to do or something? Or to, I don't know, blow up Thomas? You? Stinky? Again, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a lovely 2024. I think I might be taking a break at the start of January, maybe, because I'm a little bit burnt out from doing stuff. I think... At the minute, my creative juices aren't really flowing well, so I'm going to try and focus on my modelling. Maybe take a step back from things. I don't really know. don't really know what I'm going to do yet. But, uh, yeah. don't really know what else to say. <laughs> hey, look, guys, who's that? Oh, look, it's Timothy with battery tinfoil tape for the tanker. Oh, 